on the day of the injury, it was a pretty normal day. It was a Friday. I had went to work, I got home. I had met a friend for a couple of pre-gig drinks, pre-going to Jerry Cinnamon, who was playing the limelight in Belfast. We went to the gig, we had an enjoyable time at the gig. I then went on to meet a couple of colleagues uh, at another bar after the gig. My friend who came along with me, he had split early. He went back, he had to work the next day. As we were leaving, unfortunately on my way through, I came across two boys uh, walking down the street. One was wearing a mask, uh, and obviously with a few beers on me, I thought I'd ask the question, why he was wearing the mask in June. He didn't take too well to that, and then I was assaulted. I proceeded to walk on after that there, but he came shadow boxing around me again, and he had hit me again. But in this instance, my fight or flight instinct had kicked in, uh, and on that occasion, I went to uh, retaliate, and his friend that was with him was trying to take him away. But unfortunately, as he was pulling him, his friend away with one hand, he had a chair in the other hand. And as I went to retaliate, I hadn't hit the guy that had hit me, I'd hit the guy that was carrying the chair. His automatic reaction was to lash out. And that's when the chair had hit me in the head and I'd fell to the ground. I had arrived at the hospital pretty quickly after the injury because uh, the Royal Victoria Hospital was close to where the incident happened and it being picked up on CCTV. I think it was about four hours from since the injury happened till I was on the operating table and I was getting uh, a craniotomy which is having my skull removed and then it was inserted inside my stomach while they attended to the subdural hematoma. The operation went pretty well and then they had the cranoplasty where they put the skull back on and mended it. After the operation I was still in the coma for about a week. As I started to come around, going on what I've been told I somewhat thought everything was fine. I had tried to get up out of bed, I had to try to go walking and the likes, you know, tried to continue on as I would have done pre the injury. Uh, but it was only whenever I was in bed and people were telling me, no, this is what's happened, this is what you've been through, you've had this done to you, you've had this done to you. It did affect me straight after and for a few months after. Obviously, my wife had been off on maternity leave with a four-month-old child and me being in the hospital for a month didn't help things. Uh, obviously, then I was coming home and recovery was going to take another few months. So life wasn't easy for her, but I think at the same time it sort of made me more determined to get back to myself. I didn't know about the electrical industries charity pre my injury. It was only after the injury when I came out of hospital that I was made aware. My work power group had been in touch with the electrical industries charity and had been dealing with Tessa and Tessa had then seen my case. My wife was off on maternity leave with Gabriel, my child, and um, obviously I was the only earner at the time. So the charity was able to step in and they were subsidising whatever downfall there was in my wages. Because I would have only been getting sick pay at the time whenever I came out of hospital, which helped enormously because if they hadn't have been me and my family, we could have been on the street, we could have been back in with her parents, my parents. I couldn't recommend the electrical industry's charity enough. I'm pretty sure that if it hadn't have been from them being there and supplying the OT like they did, I wouldn't be back to work as soon as I was back to work and I wouldn't be at where I'm at today. My family have been the strength. My child being four months old, that was sort of a driving force. You know, my wife being under a lot of pressure at the time I was injured. That was the driving force. I wanted to get things back to how they were pre-injury. The four strong legs that I stand on are my wives and my child's.